FPGAs are programmable like an Arduino, but they don't run code. You're actually programming them with a circuit that defines how they're wired. You don't have to remanufacture the object. You can send out something into the field, which nowadays would be a software update, an array of simple units of logic. It's like a big sea of generic logic elements. You program it by designing a way for those elements to connect to each other. Each of those elements has a lookup table. You can use that lookup table to implement arbitrary bit of digital logic that has that number of inputs and outputs. But then in addition to that lookup table, there's a little memory storage element, a flip-flop, that you can use to control the flow of logic signals from one clock cycle to the next. And so by combining those elements using, again, a bunch of switches that are programmable, you can create kind of arbitrary circuits. You can use it to prototype a new CPU design. You can use it to create custom peripherals. You're not actually writing instructions for anything. You're actually creating like blueprints for a machine. It kind of has this inverse relationship to software where in writing code for a CPU, you have instructions which run in sequence, and sometimes you can make them run in parallel if you do something fancy. Whereas in hardware, it's kind of the reverse. You have everything running in parallel all the time, and if you want any kind of sequencing, you have to design that really explicitly by having a state machine or you know some kind of logic which can keep track of what you're currently doing and then doing it.